options trading. So options trading November 2022. Here is the monthly alerts. You can take the seven day trial. It's only $19 at beststockstrategy.com slash memberships. That's beststockstrategy.com slash memberships to follow my trades. November 1st, S&P up 36, volatility is down. The Fed announcement is tomorrow. November 2nd, S&P is down around 20. There's a Fed announcement later on today. Market is up significantly, but then I spoke too soon. The rally was short-lived. Ironically, VIX is still down despite the S&P being down 70. November 3rd, S&P is down 50. Let's see how the market behaves. November 4th, very solid opening. Volatility has also decreased. S&P up 50, VIX down 3, VVIX up slightly. S&P has come down significantly and VVIX is also pretty low. This has been a very bad week for the market, but today was very encouraging. Given the moves in volatility, I feel there's a decent chance that the market stabilizes in the near future. November 7th, decent opening. Volatility is up over 2%. Tesla is trading near its 52-week low. November 8th, solid opening. VIX remains under 25, although VVIX is up. November 9th, S&P is down around 36. VIX is down slightly, but VVIX is up significantly. The 10th, S&P is up 140. VIX down almost 10%. VVIX down 6%. This is a major move with a huge decrease in vol. Let's monitor the market. S&P up around 208. VIX down close to 10%, and VAX down almost 5%, Amazon up 12%. I believe today was the largest up move since 2020. I don't recall another move like today, this year or last. VIX has fallen tremendously. If the market doesn't have another strong distribution day tomorrow or Monday, then we'll jump back in aggressively. Which is an example of what the best strategy is, selling options and then taking ownership of stock at depressed prices. This almost always works, almost as important as it didn't work with PayPal. And if you didn't want to take ownership due to, due to a lack of capital efficiency, then you could buy calls. In any case, let's see if tomorrow confirms today's move. If so, then we'll be aggressive again starting early next week. November 11th, solid opening. It's a great sign that the market is stable after the biggest day since 2020. New trade in UNH, we sold a 400 put, picked up around $200. S&P up over 36, VIX down another 4%, and VVIX up very slightly. Seems like the market is stabilizing. Large moves up along with massive decrease in VIX. The 14th, S&P is down slightly, volatility is mixed. We sold options on Amazon, and then we bought back the WM put option the waste management. Amazon is an A minus grade, S&P down 36, VIX up 5%, Blackstone down almost 7%, AMT down 3.5%. 15th, November 15th, very solid opening, waste management, new trade. We filled at 87 cents, B plus grade, S&P up over 34, but VIX and VVIX were both up quite significantly, 3.5% and 4.5% respectively. My gut feeling is that the market will pull back slightly based on the behavior of volatility, even though it seems that the market is stabilized. Decent opening, VIX is down and VVIX is down significantly. The market may be slightly overbought. S&P down 33, but VIX and VVIX were both down. VVIX down significantly. Blackstone down 3.5% and Amazon down almost 2%. Today was a healthy pullback. New opening trade in Amazon. Notice that for this, we bought the at the money put and then sold an in the money put. So we picked up some extrinsic premium from the in the money put that we sold. And then we also paid premium for the at the money put option that we bought. Uh, a, a minus grade. It's a long-term play on Amazon appreciating a value with no downside risk, except for the difference in extrinsic premium paid with the purchased option, less the extrinsic premium received for the sold option, S&P down 12. Okay, November 18th, solid opening, closing trade on waste management. 
We sold it for 87 cents and bought it back for 23, S&P up around 19. VIX down over 3% and VVIX down over 4%. The 21st solid opening, S&P is down slightly, S&P down 15. VIX down another 3%. Market had a controlled decline. I think Amazon is oversold, but we have existing positions there. The 22nd, S&P is up around 33. It's been relatively steady all day. New opening trade on Blackstone. We bought the at the money put and then we sold an in the money put. Downside risk is limited. S&P up around 54. VIX down almost 5%. The 23rd solid opening S&P up around 24. The 25th. Here was a proposed trade on Apple. I actually should have made that trade because that was a really good trade. And now Apple's trading close around 150. B plus grade, S&P down slightly. Volatility up slightly. Monday, S&P down 37. S&P down 62. VIX up over 8%. Today is concerning because the sell-off accelerated as the day progressed. Additionally, there was another spike in volatility. S&P about even, volatility is mixed. I'll continue to monitor the market. I like to see the market stabilize a bit. S&P down slightly, VIX down almost 1.5%. Decent opening, S&P down around 14, volatility is mixed. S&P up 122, VIX fell 6%, and VVIX down around 4.5%, very strong up day. S&P is down slightly. Volatility is also down. Let's see how the market trades throughout the day. I'm much more bullish on the market after yesterday. Closing trade for Amazon. The original is here. We sold it for 68, bought it back for two cents. New opening trade in Dollar General, B plus grade. And as a spread, I'd sell the 200 and buy the 185. All right, that's it for November 2022, the options trade alerts. If you'd like to take the seven-day trial, you can visit beststockstrategy.com slash memberships. That's beststockstrategy.com slash memberships. The seven-day trial is only $19, and you can also visit beststockstrategy.com, enter in your email address, and receive over $400 of valuable free trading information.